What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm too turned up. Virgil got a paddock on my wrist going nuts. Niggas caught me slipping once, okay, so what? So, I hope you guys had an amazing day, night, whatever time you're watching this. But for today's video, I'm going to be giving you guys a life update and I'm just going to be telling you future plans, your school, how quarantine is treating me, mental health, all of that jazz, and just letting you know what's up. Let's just get into the video. <laughs> Okay, so I wrote down on my phone some topics that I really wanted to cover. I also asked you guys to ask me questions. Yeah, so here we go. The first topic is school. I'm going to talk about my junior year so far, but basically my junior... Also, I'm so sorry for the cars. Like, I'll let you guys know the situation with that in a second. Junior year actually has been treating me okay. I'm in two AP classes, AP Lang and AP US History. Let me tell you, AP US History is kicking my butt. Like literally kicking my butt. Like I'm damn near failing that class. If you ask me why I took that class, I don't know because it's not even something that I need for my future college plan. So I really don't even know why I took it. I think I just took it because I just wanted to take an AP class. Junior year has been treating me pretty well. My outfits have been getting better. I told you guys, like, I really wanted my junior year to be my goal of year. Like, it, it was happening for a while, and then it stopped. Like, I actually started to do my hair every single day and, like, put effort into my outfits. So I'm actually really proud of myself. Junior year was going great up until we went into this quarantine, and I'll get into more about quarantine later. So far, I've been doing online school, and it's been treating me okay. Like, I feel like it's so much easier just to do online school. Excuse the cars. I feel like it's so much easier to do online school than it is to do regular school. That's just in my opinion. I don't know how it is for you, but for me, it's so much easier to stay on top of things and so much easier to stay focused because you're literally at home. I don't know if it's just because I'm really bored and I really just like want to do my work now. I don't know. Or maybe it's like when I'm at school, like I'm going to admit friends do distract me sometimes, but like usually I'm on top of all my work and I study and stuff. But when I'm at home, it's like just it's just so much easier. Like you can start your work whenever you want to. You can just like it's just to me, it's so much better and so much easier for me. If you guys don't know. I'm a junior, if you couldn't tell already, but um, I'm a junior in high school and next year I'm going to be a senior and I'm actually terrified. I'm so scared. Time flew by so quickly. You guys don't know this, but I literally filmed a video um, before I went into my freshman year of high school. It was like a chit-chat get ready with me. I was talking about how scared I was to go into my freshman year of high school and I was just like a scared 14 year old girl. I'm gonna be 18 next year and it's just crazy how like time flies by really quickly. Senior year, I feel like it's gonna be a really good year for me because I'm going to start applying to colleges. It's also going to be a really stressful year. People say junior is like the literal hardest year ever and it is for my academics. As far as like my mental health and stuff, I feel like senior year is going to be that much stressful because I have to keep applying to colleges and worry about getting in and stuff like that. Worry about my academics there too and graduating. I don't know. I'm not a senior so I, if you're a senior in high school, let me know. But I really want to make the most of it. Like I really want to make a ton of YouTube videos to just like show how my high school experience was and show how everything was. Before we went on quarantine, I really wanted to make a junior year video, like a day in the life of a junior, but we went on quarantine. So like I was filming it and then one day we just went on quarantine and then I was kind of upset because I make one every year and just like, mm. okay. So I was kind of pressed, but this quarantine literally ruined all my plans, but it's fine. It makes me kind of sad um, to think about that my high school is almost over. It kind of got me a little emotional like a couple weeks ago because these cars, like, it kind of got me emotional a couple weeks ago. Maybe because I'm just a freaking sissy, but um, it kind of got me emotional because I'm like, thing like all of the friends I've made in high school, I'm probably never going to see again people because I don't blame them it's like people drift apart and that's fine but like freshman year I came in with so many friends and I was like oh like I love these people like I called literally everyone that I knew my friend like <laughs> what a joke that was now uh, y'all are just classmates y'all are acquaintances like I don't really know you that well I only have like a handful of those people and that's fine perfectly fine with me to be honest I don't care Someone just texted me and I didn't expect them to text me, but anyways, all those years of being friends with people and it's just like, they've taught me so much about 
friendships and just relationships in general and help how you should be treated so yeah okay we're gonna save some of that energy for another topic plans for the future i plan on going to college i don't know where but i really want to go to college at a state i don't really want to be in california anymore i've lived here literally all my life i figured out what i really want to do i don't know if it's going to change in the future but currently right now as of today i really want to major in psychology just psychology is just so interesting to me I want to do a minor in film because you guys already know i am literally obsessed with film like anything that has to do with cameras anything that has to do with editing like i'm literally obsessed I always wanted to do something with film that's why i started a youtube channel like i just have a really like a deep passion for film and cameras and just everything like that and cinematography like i love it I really want to minor in that and it's just something that I've always wanted to do even before I started my YouTube channel. Like film has just always been something that I've really been passionate about. I used to set up this little camera and I used to stack it up on a bunch of books and it doesn't have a viewfinder. Like it's just a little cube underwater camera. Like okay let me just take it up. It smells like salt water because I took it to Turks and Caicos. It literally looks like this and you push this button and then it records. I still have the videos like on there's still videos on here. Like if you guys want me to do a reacting to old videos type of video. Thumbs this video up so I know. I'll put a clip in if I can find it right now but if not I'll just like wait until the video. And that's the mouse. I know. It's gross. I know. Okay I want some gum. So I'm gonna grab some. <laughs> <laughs> what? I, I, give me some gum girl. <laughs> oh no it's my gum. Yeah I used to like make videos with this camera. Okay let's move on to another topic. I'm really about to expose some people right here. Relationships. If you guys don't know, I have a piano. I write songs. They're never out, but I write songs. And I don't really like to tell people how I feel. I usually just write them down. And usually how I feel, I turn that into a song. It makes great music, let me tell you. But anyways, there was this boy that I really, really liked. I liked this kid, white boy, <laughs> and he was a basketball player. Like we were friends before, well, it wasn't really friends, it was like acquaintances and I had a crush on him back when I was in like seventh grade or something. And then when we went to high school, like I was just like, eh, whatever. I kind of went in my own lane and then up until the beginning of this year, I started to have a crush on him again because we started actually talking, like talking as friends and stuff. And I started to get to know him more and I like, ah, caught feelings. And then he said he didn't feel the same way and he basically played my life. Let me elaborate a little bit more. So basically, I told him that I liked him and then he said he didn't feel the same way. And then he started flirting with me because he knew I liked him. And then when I was like, hey, I feel like you like me because you're flirting with me. And he was like, oh, I don't want to be in a relationship. And then that's when we ended it because I didn't want to be played anymore. And then two weeks later, he has a girlfriend. So it's like, you could have just been upfront with me and said you didn't want to be with me, but it's fine, it's cool. And then, I had this other boy, he was my boyfriend for a while, not a while, it was like a, like a little fling, I guess. But, um, he played my life too, so there's that. At first I thought it was me, I thought I was like, and I felt kind of bad because I felt like I was playing his life. Okay, another thing I need to elaborate more on, I'm going to be jumping in in different outfits because it took me like three days to edit this video. When I say that I felt like I was playing his life, it was because I was really confusing because I was still stuck on the other guy because I didn't know what I wanted and I didn't know my feelings. So yeah, there we go. But it turns out I wasn't and it turns out that um, people say things and things come out to the surface. So <laughs> we love getting hurt. Moral of the story, screw boys, we're done with that. Okay, so quarantine has been treating me. That was so disrespectful. Quarantine has been treating me okay, I guess. I was like so happy. I was like, yes, we're in quarantine. Like, oh, I'm so happy. But um, I'm bored, so I don't really know what to do anymore. Because at first I was like, oh, yeah, it's just like an early summer vacation. No, it's not. You know, I do some schoolwork or read a book. I'm starting to read now, guys. I'm excited. But I do some schoolwork and then after that I'm just, I don't know what to do because I can't go anywhere. Everything's closed. I'm not really allowed to go to friends' houses and friends aren't allowed to come here for obvious reasons. I don't really know what to do. All I can do is really FaceTime my friends, which is fine. It would be nice to have some human interaction once in a while besides my family. So quarantine's okay for me, I guess. It's like not the best. I mean, all I can do is just really stay inside. I've had a lot of free time. All of which I could have been filming and uploading YouTube videos, but I'll get to that later. You guys already know, I'm like a big person on sleep. I will sleep in until like 
probably the whole day. I like I've always been like that. I've always slept until like 12 in the afternoon, 2 in the afternoon. Over quarantine, I've been a little lazy and I started sleeping in until like 3 o'clock and I would get up and start my day. Well, what's left of it. And then I started eating so much and I damn near gained 10 pounds. So um, then I snapped out of it and I was like, okay, I actually need to do something productive every single day so I can get into that routine. So I started working out. <laughs> I know guys, like I work out now, I'm kind of happy. I started eating good, so fruits and veggies, here I come. Just been, you know, spending time with myself and really learning about myself. So my mental health, I'm gonna let you guys know. At the beginning of this quarantine, it was so bad. I'm not saying this for attention. I used to cry myself to sleep like every night because I hated it being here. Like I was just stuck in this room and in this apartment and I couldn't go anywhere. Like I don't know. It's <laughs> it sounds so funny, but if you really think about it, being trapped somewhere kind of takes a toll on your mental state, especially when you're just doing nothing and you're thinking all the time. Like you're trapped in your own mind and you just think about everything. And I'm an overthinker, so that's really, it's good and fresh, you know? It's prob that's probably why I gained like 10 pounds because I like kept eating or I wouldn't eat at all. It's, it's okay right now, like it's moderate, but it could be better. You kind of learn people's true colors um, during this quarantine because it's funny, I'd be checking up on all of my friends or people I thought were my friends and none of them have checked up on me so I realized like who are my friends friends and who are my school friends like I have a lot of school friends it's May the last time I uploaded was January let me get into that after I uploaded that video I was so disappointed in that video like my channel trailer I was so disappointed in it I felt like that for a while if you couldn't tell like I was starting to lag on my uploads it was because I was I just felt so uninspired and I was just not inspired to do anything anymore like I wasn't inspired to write music or listen to music and you guys know music and film are like my top two like I can't ever live without those YouTube wasn't really my number one anymore it was just more like a, a chore like oh I have to film this video today Ugh, I have to edit because I used to love editing I mean I do now but I used to love editing like every single time I finished a video I'd be like oh I'm so excited to edit like I can do all of these effects and I can do these zoom ins and like I can put this music as my background music and like I just was so excited to edit that's one of the reasons but another reason was because I was really focusing on school because my grades weren't doing well and it was junior year and I was like bro I really have to get my grind on like because I'm usually like an AB student. I don't really have any C's or D's. I really feel like it was just my mental health at that point. Okay, so I want to talk about my moving and living situation. So as you guys can tell, my background's different and a bunch of cars go by now. So there's that. But I'm living in an apartment. We moved in October of 2019 and I actually vlogged it because I was doing a Halloween vlog and then I never uploaded it. I don't even have that footage anymore because I deleted it, but I'm sorry. We've been here for a couple of months and I still really haven't shown you like my whole room. So a room tour is coming soon. Now that I look at it, I really want to change it again. So I don't know, we might do a room transformation video. My room is literally right next to the intersection and that's why you hear so many cars pass by. All throughout the days where there's just cars zooming past, like all those BDE cars, you know, like the vroom vroom. They always like take off down the street. Three o'clock in the morning, there's always those cars too. I mean, I don't mind because I'm a really heavy sleeper and I could be like, huh? And go back to sleep like I don't care it just gets annoying sometimes like when I'm on a zoom call for one of my classes and then a car zooms by and I'm like I'm so sorry and they're so loud so yeah that's my living situation so during this quarantine I've gotten so much closer to God it's crazy guys like ugh, I love Jesus God is so good man Ugh. I used to be a lukewarm Christian where if you guys don't know what that is it's like only coming to God for things that you want not really reading your Bible you just call yourself a Christian just to call yourself a Christian I called myself a Christian but all I did was believe in God and Jesus and that was it I never really actually understood like what he was doing and like his miracles and stuff like that I would never read the Bible now I have a daily devotional every morning I do my daily devotional and then I read the Bible I have Bible studies like it's it's great it's fantastic I've been Close to God right now that I ever have been. Right now I'm studying Daniel, and it's great. So I'm found it's mm, mm. yeah, but just had to put that out there. 
My last topic, which is driving. It's been a hot minute since I've talked to you guys about my driving. It took a hot minute for me to get my permit because I always failed it. Like it took me four times to get my permit, guys. Four. I failed my permit three times. Three. Like what the frick? I don't I don't know. I studied like all the time because I really wanted to get my license like really bad. Like when I would take the test, I knew the answer. I would just overthink. My See, this is why I can't like I overthink so much, but I would overthink it and click the wrong answer. I can't even give you an example because like it's it's overthinking is bad. But anyways, I finally got my permit. I finished my driver's ed training like my sixth hour behind the wheel and I went to go take my test and I failed it. I was so upset. <laughs> I was so upset like I started crying and if you don't know you have three tries to do your behind the wheel and then you have to take the permit test over again but I only took it once right I was like okay I can just take it again it's fine and then um, I couldn't schedule my appointment because my permit expired and I was like but wait because usually <laughs> your permit expires like a year after you get it and it was only like six months so i was like how is it gonna expire six months but like i just i don't understand and apparently it was when you started the process of getting your permit but anyways long story short that's what happened if i could find an appointment before it expires then i'm good and dandy i found an appointment and the quarantine shut it down so uh i don't have my appointment anymore but the good thing is, I went to the DMV to go reschedule it, and they said all of the permits are extended. But I'm still confused, because like I don't know what's happening. I mean, it doesn't really matter, because during quarantine I can't go anywhere anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Like The only thing I can go for is just to go get food. Yeah, so that's what happened with my driver's license. Yes, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it or if you want to see more of these videos. Make sure to subscribe if you have not already, um, if you want to see my face on your screen every single week. Also, make sure to follow me on my social medias. It'll be up on the screen right now. I love you guys so much, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!